numerical analysis. When potential flow involves complicated geometries or unusual stream conditions, the classical superposition chains in previous chapter become less attractive. Conformal mapping of body shapes by using the complex variable techniques is no longer popular. Numerical analysis is the appropriate modern approach and at least three different approaches are in use. The first one is the finite element method. FEM. The second one is finite difference method. FDM and the third one is the integral method with distributed singularities. Three has two parts A integral method. with distributed singularities and B the boundary elements method Methods 3A and 3B are closely related, having first been developed on an ADHOC basis by aerodynamics in the 1960s year and then generalizes into a multi-purpose applied mechanics techniques. Method 1 and 2, FEM and F. DM So extremely different in concept are comparable in scope, mesh size and general accuracy Extremely strict different in concept are comparable in scope mesh size and general accuracy We concentrate here on the letter method for illustration purpose. The finite element method. We have a the finite element method is applicable to all type of linear and nonlinear partial differential equation in physics and engineering. Finite element method that 
The final element method is applicable to all type of linear and nonlinear partial differential equation. equations in physics and engineering the computational domain is divided into a small region usually triangular or quadrilateral the computational domain is divided into small region usually triangular or quadrilateral These regions are delineated with a finite number of nodes where the field variables, temperature, velocity, pressure, stream function, and so on are to be calculated delineated with a final number of nodes so in this case we have various nodes are delineated with a final number of nodes with a field variable temperature velocity Pressure, a stream function, and so on are to be calculated. The solution in each region is approximated by an algebraic combination of local nodal values. Then the approximate function are integrated over the region and their error is minimized often by using a weightening function. This process yields a set of n algebraic equations for the n unknown nodal values. The nodal equations are solved simultaneously by matrix inversion or iteration. So we have matrix inversion or iteration. The final difference method, the next subsection. Also, textbooks on numerical analysis apply final difference techniques to many different problems. Here, we concentrated on potential flow. 
The ideal of FDM is to approximate the partial derivative in physical equation by differences between nodal values spaced a finite distance apart, a sort of numerical calculus. The basic partial differential equations is thus replaced by a set of algebraic equations for the nodal values. Let me Final difference techniques to many different problems, especially for potential flows. The idea of FDM is to approximate the partial derivative in a physical equation. in a physical equation by differences between nodal values nodal values spaced a finite distance apart. A sort of numerical calculus. The basic partial differential equation is thus replaced by a set of algebraic equations for the nodal values. For potential flow, these ablet algebraic equations are linear. We make a note. For potential indices flow, These algebraic equations are linear. But they are generally nonlinear for viscous flow. The solution for nodal values is obtained by iteration or matrix inversion. Nodal spacing needs not to be equal. Here we illustrate the two-dimensional Laplace equation choosing for convenience the string function for two-dimensional Laplace equation.
Laplace equation choosing for convenience the S3 function for each S3 function for in the continuity equation which is Subject to num values of psi along any body surface and num values of the derivation and in the free stream for num values of psi along any body surface. And in the previous our final difference technique divides the flow field into equally spaced nodes as shown in this picture. Our final difference technique divides the flow field into equally spaced nodes as this picture. To economize on the use of branches of the functional notation, subject i and j denote the position of arbitrarily equally spaced nodes, and so i j denote the value of a string function at the specific node as shown. Yes, sorry. I J denotes the value of a string function at that J delta one. Does the is just to be right and the uh, so IG and the side i j plus one is just above as shown here right to j and side i and j plus one above to psi i and j an algebraic approximation for derivative an algebraic approximation for derivative so psi on, on x on delta x for the second derivation uh, we have 
delta x minus or delta x let me write in the next page for the first derivation we have this relation minus And for the second derivation, minus is the soft Trip notation makes this expression. We have Uh, for the second derivation, we have this relation. These formulas are exact in the calculus limit where the del x equals to 10 to 0, but in numerical analysis we keep delta x and delta y finite, hence the term finite difference. In an exactly similar manner, we can derive the equivalence difference expression for the y direction. And for second derivation, we have this relation. J minus one.
The use of subscript notation allows this expression to be programmed directly into a scientific computer language as basic of person or any other programming language. When these two equations, especially the second derivation of the equations substituted into Laplace equation, the result is an algebraic form that we have i plus one j Beta I and J plus one. Where beta is depends on the maze size selected. This final difference model of Laplace equation is said that every nodal stream function values is a linear combination of its four nearest neighbors. The most commonly programmed case is a square mesh beta equals to one for which the equation reduces to the relation for each node we have one fourth of the above node below In fact, this is a mean value of all around, all size quantities around the desired point. Thus, for a square mesh, each nodal value equals to arithmetic average of the four neighbors as shown in the for example this picture we have four nodes the formula is easily remembered and easily programmed we can apply this relation for any geometry by determining the various nodes and a boundary condition and initial values. For example, available in the solution, the boundary, the next subsection is the boundary element method. 